My name is Cherry Tikono. I'm a fifth year student uh, studying Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery at the University of Nairobi. My name is uh, Mohammed Ali Omar. I am currently a fifth year medical student at the University of Nairobi. And um, the program I'm currently doing is Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. The MAC Capacity Advancement Program is an excellent program because it enables us to get to know what is going on in medicine, the advancements that are being made in medicine. Medicine is a dynamic career. Um, it changes day by day. There's something new, something different you can learn. So keeping up with such programs enables us as uh, upcoming physicians to be able to treat our patients uh, as is now with the new developments that are there now. Um, a big problem we have is sometimes we are not up to date with the different and new techniques that we can use in our practice. So going to such symposiums and being exposed by a program such as the MAC, uh, the MAC program would enable us to keep up to date and to be better, better doctors, better physicians in the future. This is uh, the first of its kind, especially by a pharmaceutical company whereby Mark is coming and involving especially the undergraduate students, the postgraduate students and also the professors in trying to uh, build capacity both at a local level and, and at an international level. From my interactions with um, the, the, the people at Mark, they think that this is going to be a long-term project and uh, it's not necessarily only for me but also for other uh, medical students who are following me in medical school to be able to build their capacity and be able to know about new techniques that are going on in the field, advancements that are happening every day. The MAC uh, Capacity Advancement Program uh, is multi-pronged, uh, not only necessarily for the physicians, but also for the patients and the community in large. In Africa, currently, we have something called the double burden of disease, uh, whereby the double burden of disease refers to we have already a high burden of infectious diseases, which is not as common in the Western world, but we're also having what we used to call the westernized diseases, which are now becoming very common here, especially diabetes and hypertension. So it's also in the rural areas and also in the urban areas, it's very important for each one and each and every one of us to give health education uh, to the people who are not particularly in the medical field. Doctors are seen as the connection to medicine, the connection to diseases. So a doctor going to speak to somebody about a disease or something they're going through will definitely enable the person to understand what, what is happening to them and for them to be able to manage themselves adequately. So I think um, giving doctors steps, uh, enabling doctors to move towards uh, advancement in medicine, enabling them to understand different fields, different aspects of uh, specific morbidities or diseases, yeah, um, allows them to be able to talk to their patients and bring them to the level of knowledge, a level where they can uh, be able to take care of themselves with the help of the physicians. We had a symposium um, with one of, prof one of the professors, I think, uh, from Oxford University. And uh, he, was, he came uh, here to discuss basically um, advancements in uh, diabetes and new medications are around, new guidelines, new recommendations that are given, and why they're actually going in that direction. Uh, we have a similar um, burden of illness um, that's actually almost reaching what they have in the UK. And we had basically an exchange of ideas with uh, Professor Ocheno, who's our professor here at the University of Nairobi, uh, making several presentations. And we also had the professor from Oxford who also had presentations on their experiences in Oxford. So it was an exchange of um, knowledge on what we are seeing here in the developing world and what they are seeing there in the developed world and what we can do to, to work together to at least try and um, be at par in terms of management of these um, non-communicable diseases, especially diabetes and um, hypertension. I think we are headed in the right direction. We just need to keep uh, getting to know uh, how the disease can be managed and 
uh, teaching our people that diabetes and hypertension is not the end of the road. That lifestyle changes uh, could possibly take us to the right direction. So I think the, the major thing with uh, hypertension and diabetes and other non-communicable diseases in our country and in Africa at large is sensitization and teaching people to be able to live healthier lifestyles and to become better individuals. The way forward uh, as a country is um, the several things we could do. Number one is um, to increase our health education to the lay people, especially people who are not in any way related to someone who's in the medical field, uh, be it a nurse, a medical doctor, a dentist, a pharmacist. Uh, or someone in the, med in, the, in, the, in the field of medical uh, laboratories. Uh, there's a huge population in Kenya who does not have access to um, or uh, are related to these people. So health education is quite important for these people. And health education has to start from everyone who is at the top to the person who is at the bottom. We have to have people who are going to primary schools, secondary schools. We even have to have our parliamentarians getting involved in this um, awareness about diabetes.